cool. So right now I'm connected to the bike with the T800 up map. I got the app on my phone downloading firmware. Next step is pretty much uh, go to their store and then pick out the up map and then load it onto the bike. Super easy. Uh, only thing I gotta figure out is how to get the um, up map to load onto the phone without paying for it. Cool. All right, I am back. So, okay, pick which one is yours. We like which bike you have. I have the Pedal Galley V4 2020 to 2021, and we are in the US of A. So that. And then hit configure. Boom. Model identified. Confirm. Probably a V4 2020 to 2021 USA. Confirm. Device paired successfully. Okay. And config. Okay, step one done. Step two, log into the store and choose the map. Okay, so. Yes, close, and then this is the store, it looks like. Okay, cool, welcome back. So now we're at the store, and you just gotta find your slip-on slash exhaust. So I've got an arrow, and I wanna leave the DB killer on. So it looks like this is it. Map for arrow sensor kit with DB killer, okay. It'll say it's like 160 euro right there, but you get it for free. All you got to do is add it to your cart. So map or aerosol interest kit with DB killer. Okay, sweet. Add to cart. Boom. And then you can see it's pretty much zero. Proceed to checkout. Fill this stuff out, stuff out, and I'll be right back. Cool, all right, once you got the voucher applied, you should not be paying for any maps. Again, the T800, which is this, will come with one free map. Uh, make sure you pick the right one, get that voucher applied. Uh, just follow the directions. It says the voucher should be in the description. Um, I tried several times, it didn't work, and then there was something along the lines of if it's not gonna work, um, enter Terminioni gift as a voucher, and that worked. So now I've got the voucher applied. I went back into the app. Uh, you just gotta find the little motorcycle um, emblem, as you can see there, and then go to maps, and then all you gotta do is load the map. It's pretty straightforward. And yeah, so this is loading right now. Standby will be done here shortly. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Cool, map is almost done. As you can see, my rear wheel is still at the shop. It's actually getting fixed right now because the folks at wherever I um, had the tire changed they pretty much damaged the the wheel um i guess they had a new machine long story short they're gonna be paying for everything so the wheel repair yeah it sucks but whatever i've seen worse but in any case this thing is still being loaded notice that the bike is on don't shut it off for sure at all times you don't want to interrupt that little piece of device. So, yeah, it should be done shortly. <laughs> All right. Looks like it's done. Pretty much end. All you gotta do is, looks like, you gotta press the motorcycle helmet, go to maps, and then, yeah, it should be on there. So that's the map, you just hit that, and it'll, it'll download it to the bike. Once it's finished, you'll know it's finished because your bike will change to kilometers. And when you turn it off, which I will write about now, 
um, and then you cycle through, let it turn off all the way. Once you turn it on, it should say, there you go, Racing Pro. Can you see that? Anyways, yeah, and also the check engine light is now off. Yeah, uh, before I go, it wouldn't be a proper video without turning the bike on, so let's fire it up. Racing Pro right there. That's how you know the map is on. And like I said, it transfers your miles to kilometers and you can always fix that later. Let's fire this baby up. What's cool about this map is you don't need to leave this on the bike. You could, I mean, you can. You could just leave it on, put, tuck it underneath. But I'm gonna take it off and preserve it for sure. I don't want it to be exposed to the heat and all, because that is that is pretty much gas tank still. It's one piece and it goes all the way down to the bottom. So yeah, I'm gonna remove that thing. Super straightforward. I mean, the only hiccup I kind of ran into was the vouchers. For the website it does have it in print where um, it gives you the codes but I tried those two codes they didn't work and then the website says if it doesn't work use that um, word terminology gift and then it should it should be able to uh, check out without you paying for anything so that's what I did and it was a success anyways again hit me up in the comments if you have any questions thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next one later